So a Venn diagram is a way to show a visual representation among sets. The rectangle represents the universal set U. Remember, the universal set is the set that contains all the elements that are under discussion or under consideration. And the um, circles, or sometimes ovals or other shapes, represent subsets of that universal set U. In this case, the shaded area inside set A represents the area we're talking about. So we would say that the set A is shaded in this Venn diagram. If I shaded the area outside my set A, then we would say the elements in the universal set, but not in A, are shaded. So this is a Venn diagram that just has one set in it. Sometimes we draw Venn diagrams with multiple sets. Um, here's a Venn diagram that has two sets in it. Again, that rectangle on the outside represents your universal set. I have two sets, A and B here. And this um, Venn diagram sort of breaks it into four regions. We have uh, region number one over here, which is the um, elements in set A that are not in set B. Same thing over here. This is the elements in set B, not in set A. This piece they have in common in the middle is the elements in common to sets A and B. And then the piece outside these two circles would be the elements in the universe that are not in set A or B. So when you think about this Venn diagram with two sets, you sort of have four different regions and you think about those regions in different parts. So what would a Venn diagram look like if A was a subset of B? So we know we need two circles. We need a circle A and we need a circle B. We need the rectangle on the outside to represent the universe. B is my big circle, and A is entirely contained inside circle B because every element of set A is also an element of set B. Disjoint sets are two sets that have no elements in common. So when I draw a Venn diagram representing two disjoint sets, I have this universe, I have circle A, and I have circle B, and they have no overlap because they don't have anything in that region where the two things have elements in common.